Have you noticed how more and more asteroids are coming closer and closer to Earth every month now for the past few years? You used to hear about an asteroid possibly getting somewhere remotely near the Earth <coughs> maybe once every decade, then once every few years, then once a year, now it's once a month or more. It's like birth pangs of a woman. The, more, the nearer the birth of the baby is, the closer and closer together the birth pangs come. More on that in a moment. Astronomers say that a large asteroid, twice as big as the Statue of Liberty, an asteroid that would not be a global killer, would not be a planet killer, would be a regional killer, would wipe out approximately 1.5 to 2 billion people, is heading on a direct path to Earth right now. Will it hit us dead on and wipe out one and a half, two billion people? Will it pass by close, make another round, and then hit us next time? Here's what I'm getting at before. The Bible says that birth pangs are going to be closer and closer, the closer we are to the imminent rapture and the tribulation and great tribulation. And that's why all the signs, all of the storms and, and all of the, the wars and rumors of wars, everything happening, just like the Bible said it would be. And if this asteroid passes us now and comes back around and hits us in the next couple years, that would tie right in with the Bible as well in the tribulation. Or if it hits us soon, the rapture could be that soon. The tribulation could be here and it could hit during that time. What I'm trying to get at is that time is truly short. God has signs in the heavens galore everywhere. That was one of the major things Jesus said. Look for signs in the heavens. We're seeing signs in the heavens unreal like like i've never even dreamed of seeing in my entire life and asteroids coming mark my words on that because the bible says it is the bible's never wrong it's going to hit earth no one knows where but it's going to wipe out a huge chunk of the population and it's going to be it's going to make the earth just in a, a horrendous horrendous place in a horrible time of the tribulation where it's going to be horrendous to start with you need to be getting ready right now for this if the asteroid hits and you're here and you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, when it does hit, and you're among those who die, <clears throat> your next breath, when you wake up after you die, will be in eternity and hell forever until you get to the lake of fire. Then it's forever and ever and ever, never ends. Well, I go through all of that. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, share this video, witness and pray for the lost night and day, and look up our different Darth and I. We fly soon. May God bless you.